now that uh, we have introduced the concept of the role of a ground station, it's important to briefly mention again from a conceptual point of view before we dive into the details you know, um, of your hardware, your software, and things like this, um, the Tiny GS as a ground station. We, we have, in the previous video, I spoke about the ground station in the context of a space mission. And now let's, let's be a little more specific here and look at what you actually purchased. You purchased hardware that in combination with um, software um, that you, you could program yourself, you, you, we will see how you get to, to the software part of it, you will essentially have a ground station capable of receiving data from uh, one of these satellites that you can see on screens here. So this is, we're looking at the landing page of uh, tinygs.com website. We're going to dive into what is the tinygs community, but this, this is just really briefly uh, to complete the previous video, putting it in the context of the kit that you have purchased uh, so that you get to have a good sense of what you actually have in your hands. You have hardware that allows you to receive data from these satellites. Um, within the context of their missions, and these satellites are, are LoRa satellites, and um, we won't dive um, into the details of the missions of each satellite, you can read about them, but part of you are now part of these space missions. You are now part, uh, you are now, uh, at least at this stage, by the time you're done with this course, you will be in a position to say, right, you are now contributing to these space missions by providing one of the many ground stations that you can see on the screen that support the data relay of these satellites. All right, so let's talk again in um, the next video where we will be diving a bit more into uh, the details of what you actually purchased your TinyGS kit. Talk to you in the next video.